walks away. Jamison's unable to knock it down. You can't hit a grand slam in basketball. It's one possession at a time. You can't go for the home run swing. You've got to make it simple each possession and generate a quality shot. Gets it up for two. It's good. And they extend the lead to double figures. Jamison fires it up again. Can't hit. I continue to see solid defense. It's the same defense that got him the lead. That type of defense will keep the lead for them. Miller on the drive gets to the rim and Andre Miller with a nice shot for two Jamison fires yet again knocks it down gorgeous feed the assist from number two Raymond Felton and that will end the third quarter Dallas is down by 10. Stay tuned for more Friday Night NBA presented by ESPN after this. Just a reminder. San Antonio is leading Dallas by a score of 19 to 9. Down into the lane. In the paint. Beautiful move. You're not going to see a better possession in the NBA from both sides of the ball. Good defense, good offense, good offense won out that time. It's a loose ball. Oh, he loses the ball. Great hustle as he looks for the save. Out of bounds. Whistle sounds. It'll be Spurs ball. We've been watching a terrific game today from LaMarcus Aldridge. I just love the way people are bouncing off of him as he goes up and snags the ball in traffic. Able to connect, and it's now a double-figure lead. I love watching the attackers in our league be able to adjust, adapt, and then ultimately finish at the basket. And San Antonio's called for their first team foul. And he'll head to the line with under a minute and a half to go here on the fourth. That's the first foul. And he connects on the first free throw. Fails to hit them both. Hits the first, misses the second. Miller on the drive. Aldridge fires away. Nails it. And Lamarcus Aldridge with eight points. The assist from number nine, Tony. Felton set to bring it up.
San Antonio is leading Dallas by a score of 23 to 2. That's why I love the moon Every night it's there for you It's constant Unlike these human beings Who lie about what it seems to be You think the earth is where you stand Why I love the moon Cause it's always there for me Every night about my window And that's why I love the moon Cause it's always there for me Every single night I look outside And watches every time we make exchanges with slaves Locked in a box and use our minds just to escape or the same I'm tired of the pain, love is blind to the flame That's why I look up, never hide behind the skies in the rain Promises come to exercise and go deny you the pain That's why I look for ways to find whatever lies in the rain I don't blame my father for lamping, I believe that help What I'm trying to grow is just still trying to grow as myself So understand it when I'm stranded, taking chances, no I need that Fall flat on my back, you just relax and keep your seat back uh, Cause when you think that's when you let time run and escape with your mind, love, and that's what you think. So what you think? If love was easy to find, we wouldn't need it to complete our lives. So
in the cut, folk me like a lion. Just walk through the circus, now they crying for more. more. From the king and for gold, my valor comes from the will of God's power. Eat, drink, party, and build the watch towers looking over. Declarations, audacious, on night shifts when the pen's more righteous. I can rule the world in just jeans and night kicks, and every single thing I write gets. Most are pathetic. I feel the sky with smoke from the wreckage. Rebel, I cut for breakfast. Slippers and roll Welcome to Dallas, Texas, and American Airlines Center. It's Friday night basketball here on ESPN as we get set for the third meeting of the season between the Dallas Mavericks and the San Antonio Spurs. So as the game gets up, Dallas is going to the bench here. And now he moves around the defender to the basket. And we have a foul called against Green. That'll be his to go in the first half. San Antonio Spurs are in the middle. Jeff, you know the Spurs are going to come back strong and motivated. Last year they had a terrific season, but lost in that first round that heartbreaking game seven this team is going to be ready to make some noise i'm interested in following this mike because they had to sacrifice some very good players corey joseph marco bellinelli are their perimeter players going to have to play more minutes is tony parker danny green Kawhi leonard are they going to have to play bigger minutes than we've seen them have to play in the past Green the jumper. Rebounded by Villanueva. That's a three-pointer. The defense nowhere near it. Won't go from downtown. Hey, this is a front-running league. You would much rather play ahead than behind. There they had the chance to knock in the wide-open jump shot, give them a little bit of a cushion, but missed the good look. Chance for a three-point play. Count the basket and the foul. A block called against Green. And it's on to the free throw line. One shot to complete the three-point play. Terrific concentration to finish the shot and now shoot a free throw. Parker into the front court. Oh, what a beautiful play. The alley-oop and the lay-in finish. The assist from number nine, Tony Parker. He curls. Puts it down. What a play. The assist from number 25, Chandler Parsons. It'll count if it goes. And the first half comes to an end. Dallas is up by two. Stay with us for more NBA on ESPN Friday after halftime. Welcome back to the American Airlines Center for the second half of this basketball game. Along with Jeff Van Gundy, Mike Breen on hand. Dallas has got themselves a lead as we get set to start the third quarter, but this game certainly is up for grabs. It certainly is, and it's going to take energy and efficiency at both ends of the floor. Throws it up high. Williams for two. Let's it go. Four two. Jeff San Antonio as well coached as any team, perhaps in pro sports. Now you've got a LaMarcus Aldridge with David West coming in. How long does it take for them to get comfortable in a new place? I think David West at this point in his career with the money he left on the table, he's willing, obviously, to sacrifice to win. I think the big one is LaMarcus Aldridge. By the end of the year, though, his talent will shine through. I think he's going to have a tremendous impact for the Spurs, particularly come playoff time. Dallas is leading San Antonio by a score of 16 to 12. Won't go. No paint game, no winning. You've got to get the ball at the basket, and then you've got to finish when you get it there. Can't bring it home. Hey, that's a good look right there. Just couldn't get it in. All 
Aldridge fires. This is the two. Jamison fires away. Oh, sinks the two pointer. The assist from number eight, Darren Williams. West jumper. That's good. The assist from and the third quarter comes to an end. Dallas is up by four. We'll have more Friday night NBA from ESPN after the break. Just about ready to get underway. Whoever gets some stops is probably going to win this game. Well, Mike, I'm worried. I don't see the intensity or the passion or the commitment defensively from either team. I don't think either team has the heart to stand in there and get the stops necessary. Green the jumper. Can't get it to go down. And he curls in. Throws it down. What a play. A look at the athleticism exploding up to finish with the hammer. Oh, pretty move into the paint. Puts it in. That's a two-pointer. He's one for four from the field. Hey, you can only control what you can control. The defense there was great. It was just a better shot. Throws it down. What a play. Oh, that's a sweet finish right there. Dunking the ball with strength and force. And he throws it down. When you're playing with a lead late in a close game, defensively, you must shut down this painted area. If you don't, it could lead to a comeback. Gets into the paint. Attack, throws it down. Oh, that's nice right there. The finish at the rim with the nice dunk. Timeout call. The Spurs down by eight. Coming out of a timeout in the last minute of the game, many teams would give up in this situation. No, what you have to do is get a quick three. When you knock that in, immediately set up your defensive pressure and try to force a turnover. Knocks it down. What a clutch play. Sometimes the simplest plays are the hardest ones to execute. Good way. Whistle blows. That's a foul, and they call it intentional. When you're down late in the fourth quarter of a game, you have to gamble and try to create some havoc. Here they fouled, but they're not in the penalty, so it's just going to result in a side out of bounds. First free throw, good. He hits the pair of free throws. Their lead is now eight. And a timeout is called. All right, Jeff, if you're the coach, what do you do here? When you see the full timeout being taken, oftentimes staffs get together away from their teams to do a number of things. One is to discuss necessary strategy adjustments. Maybe they're discussing matchup adjustments. And sometimes the head coach is just complaining about the players who are in the game at that moment. And as an assistant coach, your job is to nod your head. Yes, up and down vigorously like you understand the pain that the head coach is going. Oh, what a shot! Hey, sometimes good offense beats good defense. There's nothing to be ashamed with on that possession. That was a well-defended, well-contested shot. Oh, what a play! You need guys who can make shots under duress and pressure. That was a well-defended possession, but that man stuck it even against the best defense. Gets to the rim. Oh, clutch shot. The assist from number three, David West. And that will do it.
the final score is 30 to 24 for Jeff Van Gundy and our entire EA. Here we go with the EA Sports post game wrap up. The Mavericks put together a nice win here today. The scoring display they put on is going to be hard to forget. It's hard to imagine anyone doesn't come away impressed with how effectively they score their points. This has been a presentation. Selling us components meant to self-destruct and shelter us and skelter in disguise to something helping us. 